Hey y'all, Mike here from All American Reviews, and today I'm talking about how to find pocket knives made in the USA. Whether you're using it for hunting, camping, on the job site, or just need an everyday carry, a high quality pocket knife is priceless. And to get the best, you have to buy American. So in today's video, I'm going to cover how to spot pocket knives that are made in the USA, my top picks for American made pocket knives, and make sure to stick around to the end of the video where we'll be answering some frequently asked questions. I've also written about this exact same topic before, so check in the description below for a link to that article. And if you're passionate about buying American made products, give this video a like, subscribe to our channel, and make sure to head over to allamericanreviews.com. There you'll find a ton of research and buying guides on shopping American made. Let's get into today's video on how to find pocket knives made in the USA. Outside of being assembled in the USA, the next most important factor when trying to find a high quality pocket knife is where the blade is sourced from. When you're searching for a good blade steel, you're primarily looking for its ability to cut well and then maintain a sharp edge. And there are really five important factors that go into a blade's ability to do those things. First is the intended use for the blade. So what are you going to be cutting? And then are you doing more push cutting or slicing? The next is the shape of the blade. You also wanna look at the shape of the edge. Um, so what kind of angle is it at? And also what is the coarseness of the edge of the blade? You also wanna look at corrosion resistance and the type of steel that is being used on the blade. Let's dive into the types of steel for a second here. Steel for pocket knives generally falls into three different categories, carbon steel, tool steel, and stainless steel. Carbon steel is really known for its toughness and durability, but is more prone to corrosion. Tool steel is primarily hard steel alloys, and then your stainless steel is essentially carbon steel, but with a much higher chromium content, which helps prevent some of that corrosion. Stainless steel is easily the most popular type of steel for your everyday carry pocket knives. It's pretty well documented and I've covered in previous videos that Chinese steel is actually three times weaker than American steel. So you really want to make sure that your knife maker is sourcing their steel domestically. The U.S. is the fourth largest producer of steel in the world behind China, India, and Japan, but it is still a huge industry with over a $110 billion valuation according to the latest data that we have. Within the US, some of the largest steel producers are Nucor, Cleveland Cliffs, US Steel Corporation, and there's actually been a recent shift into more specialty, smaller scale steel manufacturers. So just make sure to check where that knife maker is sourcing their steel from. Outside of the blade, you also wanna make sure that the materials used in the rest of the pocket knife are also sourced domestically. So this is primarily the handle as well as the locking mechanism of the knife. Your locking mechanism is likely going to be made from steel or aluminum, so just make sure to check the source for those materials. But there's really not a lot of variation for locking mechanisms, so I wanna focus on the handle and a lot of the different types that you may encounter when searching for a pocket knife. Aluminum is probably one of the most popular types of knife handles that you're going to encounter out there, especially with your newer models. It holds up really well against harsh weather conditions. It has a pretty good grip, and there are generally a lot of American-made manufacturing options for knife makers to choose from. Bone is another popular handle material and manufacturers love to use stag for that rough finished look. So just make sure to check where that is sourced from as well. Celluloid is also another popular handle material. It's a synthetic plastic that actually often resembles a pearl or bone finish. Just be careful with this material. There are a lot of great American plastic manufacturers, but the US is definitely behind a couple other countries in terms of overall plastic production. So your knife maker could be getting this material from overseas. Some other popular handle materials are stuff like wood, titanium, rubber, pearl, and of course stainless steel. Um, so just make sure to check where those materials are sourced from. We also have some US legislation on our side for finding the country of origin. Title 19, Chapter 4, Section 1304 of the United States Code basically states that any product that is imported must be labeled as such with its country of origin on the product or packaging. That doesn't necessarily apply to marketing materials. So let's say that you don't have the product in front of you. If they're using made in the USA language, just keep an eye out for wording and make sure to watch out for those red flag qualifiers like assembled in the USA or made in the USA with imported materials. Those are a dead giveaway that they are not sourcing their materials domestically. 
I cover all of these tips on wording and more in my video on how to tell what products are made in the USA. So make sure to give that a watch and you can always give the brand a call, which is one of my favorite methods for finding the country of origin if the product isn't right in front of me or at a local store. Or you can always hit us up at All American Reviews and we may have already found out for you. All right, now that we've covered some tips for spotting pocket knives made in the USA, let's get into my top picks for American made pocket knives. Now, there are a ton of great American knife makers and more than I have time to cover in today's video. So for all of our research on pocket knives, make sure to head over to that article on All American Reviews, which I will link to in the description below. First up is Spartan Blades. Spartan Blades was started by a couple of retired Green Berets and is currently headquartered right outside of Fort Bragg, North Carolina. They have some great fixed blade and folding knives that they've won a bunch of awards for over the years for their performance and innovative designs. I will note that they recently launched a partnership with Cobb Bar, which is a big name in knife making, and their bronze level field series knives are now made overseas, but everything else is made in the States. Next is case knives. When you talk about American tradition in pocket knives, it is really hard not to include case in that conversation. They've been around since 1889 and are headquartered in Bradford, Pennsylvania, where they still make a lot of their knives today. They have changed a bit over the years. They're owned by Zippo now, but are still making the large majority of their knives in the US. Just make sure to watch out for their Tech X series, which is more of a modern tactical knife, which is now made in China. But if you're looking for a reliable everyday carry, it's really hard to beat Case. Next is Baron Sun Cutlery. Baron Sun has a rich family history of knife making and has a lot of different varieties, everything from butterfly knives to lockbacks, hunting knives, and a lot more. I like their 751 knife in particular. It's made from 440 stainless steel and has a stag handle and is great for burden trail. All of their knives are assembled here and they also source all of their steel from the US outside of one variety called their Sandvik steel, which is actually sourced from Sweden. So just pay attention to the product details and make sure to watch out for any knives of that variety. Next is Buck Knives. Buck Knives has a storied history of American knife making. They were founded in 1902 in San Diego, California by the Buck family, and it continues to be a family owned and operated business to this day, although they are now headquartered in Post Falls, Idaho, which is where they moved in 2005. They produce a large variety of knives, everything from simple everyday carries to hunting and fishing knives. While they make a ton of knives in the US, I do wanna note that not all Buck Knives are made in the USA. We actually did a big analysis of all of the knives that are sold on their site and found that 87% of their product catalog is made in the USA. So just watch out for some of those models that are made overseas, but given the huge variety of knives that Buck Knives manufactures, you should be able to find something for yourself that is made domestically. Next is Hogue Knives. They were founded by Guy Hogue in 1968 and are based out of Nevada. They're actually more well known in the firearms industry. They actually didn't get into knife making until 2010. Hogue Knives are absolutely top notch and their knives are actually issued to all branches of the US military. So if you need a tough tactical blade, Hogue Knives has made them with law enforcement in mind and they have a ton of really great options. Next is Emerson Knives. The company was founded in 1996 by Ernest Emerson, who is a custom knife maker and actually a really good martial artist. He has been inducted into the Martial Arts Hall of Fame. I really like their Karambit Knives, which is a specialty blade that resembles a claw that is really popular with fighters and soldiers. The only ones to really watch out for with Emerson Knives is their multi-tools, which seem to be made overseas, but everything else is made in the USA. And the last brand I'll cover in today's video is Medford Knife. Medford is a relatively small scale operation, but is hand making all of their knives and is even doing their own heat treating of their steel in house, which is actually pretty rare these days. They source all of their steel from American Metal Exchange in California and have a lot of really great options for folding knives, fixed blade and automatic knives. Medford is a bit pricey, but if you want a top notch pocket knife, definitely give them a look. Now let's get to some frequently asked questions. First up, are Gerber gear knives made in the USA? And the answer is only some of their knives are made in the USA, about 21.8% to be exact. We did a big analysis of the entire product catalog for Gerber gear knives and found out that unfortunately, a lot of them seem to be made in China these days. So for that full analysis on All American Reviews, check the description below, which we've linked to. Next, are Leatherman knives made in the USA? 
And the answer is yes, the large majority of their popular multi-tools is made and sourced in the USA. Only about five of the 30 total parts that you see in a Leatherman multi-tool is sourced internationally. We have a full breakdown of what those parts are in our Leatherman breakdown on all American reviews, which I've linked to in the description below. And lastly, are Benchmade knives made in the USA? And the answer is yes, we found that most Benchmade knives are indeed made in the USA, but that actually hasn't always been the case for Benchmade. After they were founded in 1979, they pretty quickly moved manufacturing from the US to China and Taiwan. But in 2010, they actually reversed course and moved their knife making back to their headquarters in Oregon City, Oregon, which is pretty rare. You don't typically see a lot of companies kind of come back to the US after exporting a lot of their manufacturing overseas. We are sure glad that they did. That's it for this video on how to find pocket knives made in the USA. If you all have any questions, leave a comment below or shoot us a note at All American Reviews and we'll find out for you and write something up. If you like this video, remember to like and subscribe. And thanks for supporting your country and shopping American-made. See y'all next time.